for a Sippin' with Brocky segment, and I have the wonderful K.S. Lewis here. Thank How you. How you doing? I'm good. Welcome How are you? Welcome to the set. I'm doing good. I'm fantastic now. I'm so happy we got this going. I know. It's been so long trying to get together, but thank you. Yeah, we had a nice collaboration on the first time. What was that segment again? Taste that and was See. Taste and See. That's right. Yeah, so tell the people a little bit about what you have going on. Oh my goodness. So much. <laughs> 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 so this is the summer so it's really great that um you know we get a little bit of a break but taste and see is the segment that we do where we just kind of go and do restaurant reviews right i invite really cool dope people to come out and hang out with me All right yep <laughs> <laughs> um we're also kind of gearing up for love dish which is the um the main tv show that i do no doubt and we're trying to get we have a casting call going on right now oh really yes Okay. Yes, so any member of the Divine Nine um, Greek organization, okay, okay. we're getting. We want them to come out and participate in a couple of the, the episodes this season. That's dope, yo! Yeah. I'm excited to hear that. It's my <laughs> first time hearing that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be that that particular episode will be somewhat of a matchmaking show. Uh huh. So it'll be a lot of oh, fun. Okay, that's yeah. gonna be dope. So y'all still gonna be doing the whole cooking thing and all we that stuff. We will definitely be cooking. Right. Um, and then outside of that, I'm still, you know. I don't know, Kicks and Giggles just relaunched. Kicks and Giggles, right? that's right. <laughs> right, right. So that is second and fourth Mondays. And that's uh, Micheline Bowman and I just kind of kicking it, talking about, of course, talking about love and relationships. No doubt. And, you know, just kind of hanging out. You got so many avenues going, man. I mean, I know you're going to be successful because I love the stuff that you're doing out there. Thank you. Thank you. I like what you're doing, too. I'm, I'm trying. Yo, listen, I'm just trying <laughs> to give y'all some content mm -hmm. and, you know, just uh, probably make a good excuse for me to be sipping whiskey, like, on oh, almost daily basis. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> That's <whole> thing. <laughs> right. So we have um, a couple of whiskey sours. Yes. Here I use Buffalo Trace whiskey, which is my go-to for um, mixed drinks as far as like an old-fashioned whiskey sours. Okay. And I uh, got my Luxardo cherries in. Mm -hmm. So let's toast to uh, us getting together Cheers. and doing this and see how we like this. Mm. Mm. Woo. Oh, <laughs> yes indeed oh my goodness that's good mm, right that's very good I, I like to throw a little bit of uh, walnut bitters on the top of my um you know my egg white i love the, it the, and that's the, really different i don't think i've ever had walnut bitters before oh so. walnut bitters is fantastic yeah. in one of my episodes the bartender said sometimes when he, he's getting ready to go out he'll take some walnut bitters and put it behind his ear for cologne oh really <laughs> <laughs> my boy, Let uh, me find my out. man, Big Nate, uh, Big uh, Jake, <laughs> over at uh, at uh, Chaplin's in DC. Oh. He put bar, he put uh, the you know, the water bit of the honey. Yeah, I've like, talked about that a few times. I, I, I find it fascinating. Here I am thinking I'm attracted to just regular cologne. No, you got the walnut. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what else is popping, man? I mean, you know what? You are. I know we talked about this before, but not on my show. You are a native of D.C. Where, where are you? Where so I'm you not a from? native of D.C. I'm actually, my family was a military family, mm. but I spent the majority of my life growing up in North Carolina. Oh, okay. So I was in North Carolina for college. I went to East Carolina University. R. <laughs> and I don't know why they do that little thing now. Like, we're the pirates, but somehow from the time I left and a few years back, <laughs> they started doing this whole little hook thing. But oh, for cool. real? Yes, it's weird, but it's cool. <laughs> but, <laughs> whatever works. Right, whatever works. Um, but I moved here in 2014. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so not too long. I'm about down here yeah. 94, man. I've been so, down here for so long now. I feel like I, there's still so much to learn about the area. For sure. You know, every day is something new you can do. And, I, and that's what I really love about this area. Like, no doubt. There's always a new restaurant. There's always a new, like, place. There's always yep. just stuff. Yeah, you, know? you got that Always right. a new bar to check out the, the fun drink. You got that right. <laughs> you know, I know where those are. Mm -hmm. You need to know. Let me know. I'll send you in the right place. I just had a, a going away, um, changing jobs. And we had a going away at a whiskey bar. And I don't know, maybe about 20... 20, no, maybe about 20 people came mm -hmm. and I'm literally running up and down the bar suggesting to people oh, what to get, what to get, what to get. You know, get this jet, get this, no, you don't want that. You, want <laughs> this, you know what I'm saying? Right, like and don't touch that, get this one. I was like, yo, you gotta be uh -huh. a way for me to get paid to do this. <laughs> right. <laughs> you will be soon. Try. All right, well, we'll see how it works out. <laughs> and congratulations on the new gig. I appreciate it, y'all. Um, I was at my job for 13 years. Wow. 13 years, today's the last day. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? So I walked out. That's and, awesome. Uh, it was just, it's crazy. I mean, you know, change is inevitable, right? Right? That's true. Yeah, it's so a new opportunity and, uh, and all that good stuff. But I can't talk too much about what I do on camera because uh -oh. 
I had to come for y'all. So. Mm. You know, mess around. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what else is um what else, any events coming up or anything like that? You know, we always have events going on, but there's nothing that I'm hosting coming mm -hmm. up right now. I'm just really taking the summer to just go out and support different people, um, support a lot of things that are happening throughout the area, show my face. Um, I, 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 you know, I'm an author first, right? And right. so I feel like I've had to kind of flex my writing muscle a little bit. No doubt. So um, I've been doing a couple of reviews when I go out to different places, just so that people remember, like, hey, she really is a writer. No doubt. They get so used to seeing me in front of the camera or hearing me on the podcast, they forget that I actually write. And so just kind of reminding people of that. Um, mm -hmm. And then I started doing these recaps of this new show. Right, right. right. I, was about to, I was thinking that in my mind. Oh, this, okay. And because it's focused on love, you know, it's right up my alley. So um, the, the TV show Love is on OWN. I'm loving it totally. I gotta check that out. Please do. Please check do. It, out. it gives you, it really gives you all the feels. No it doubt. really does. <laughs> I don't know if I want the feels, yeah. You gotta have What's the gives me the feels? Uh oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, these will kind of help soothe those feels. <laughs> right. You know, it's a nice nostalgic <laughs> throwback to the feels. So, but, so what yeah. is the show about? So, I know I feel like I'm doing like I do PR for this show because I love it so much. <laughs> right. So, shout out and holla at yeah, you me know, because you I'm know. doing it. Um, but so it's kind of like a, a modern day look into. Well, it starts with a modern day couple that are actually highlighting 20 years ago when they met and how they oh, fell okay. in love and just like the ups and downs. So the setting is in the 90s though. Like 96, oh, okay. 97. All right, yeah, yeah. Those and are good years. Those right were there. wonderful years, right? Boy. Whew, so, man. What you I can't talk about that on camera. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's just, you know, I think for me the feels are just, they come from the music, yeah, from that time frame. Yeah. You know the mindset that people were in like yeah. online dating was a very new thing and yep. so there's a little bit of nod to the that black planet stuff back then a little bit a little you bit. know they have been named black planet but just you know like there's such a, a a you know fresh look back into just how we were back then because no you know when you're of a certain age and to be able to think back to that time when things were seemingly a little easier where yeah. love was concerned yeah that's a lot of fun for me for sure for so. sure i mean you know look i always say i always say people um, I got this from my boy Joe. I gotta give him credit. <laughs> People look through the rose colored lenses when you look in the back. That's but true. really, though, really, love, it was different back it then. Really than what it really was. We don't, you don't even have slow jams anymore. Oh. Uh. No, because you can't understand what people are saying anymore. You can't. Well, that too. That <laughs> we have too. bumble rap now. Well, well, come on, Thank yeah, you, you right much. about that. You right about that. <laughs> but even with like R and B now, mm -hmm. um, you know the the content of the music is is basically Very different. It's rap. Mm -hmm. You know, they just kind of singing the lyrics a little bit. And there's but no back, subtlety. No, mm -hmm. no. So back then. You know, music is a soundtrack to our lives, yes. you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, most certainly. Back then, Pops was listening to some Marvin Gaye when he scooped my mama. Hey. <laughs> you know what and, I mean? But you know, when we hear that now, it's like, ooh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. And it means something to you as opposed to some of the things that are out now. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you, when, <laughs> when you hear a song that's so explicit, but it's supposed to be a love song, it really like, come takes on. some of it takes something out of the whole emotion and the whole interaction. It's like, right. well, you ain't even gonna sneak up on it, are you? No, it changed that. It changed that interaction straight up right. from both perspectives. I think. Yeah. So. So your show? Do you guys watch the episode together and recap it, or do you? So do we that? we don't watch it together. We watch and then we come together the next day okay. and I actually recap it with Maria, who came and hung out with us okay. at Taste and yeah, See. Yeah. Yeah, she was um, cool. So we do a live recap, but then I also do a written recap. Mm -hmm. so. Is it like a, um you have like a um a blog or something like that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's dope. Yeah. And you have published writing? I do. Right? I have two books out. Tell people the name of those books. Okay, out. so one the first book is uh The Game According to Life, um that came out a couple of years ago. And it is kind of the, the story of a young woman named Life and her journey mm -hmm. through love and relationships. And it kind of starts with her her family life mm -hmm. and then it just kind of takes her from that point okay so it's really interesting that's dope i like <laughs> it i like it yes and uh, you know i have to say it it 
can it could possibly remind you of someone you might know okay so. it's relatable <laughs> very relatable <laughs> um, and then the second book is love notes for life and that's my ode to the um little black book you remember the little black book from back in the day yeah that, why does that sound so familiar so a little black book you know I mean, back in, in the general day, the little black book right. oh yeah for sure for sure we used to carry it we used to put people's addresses mm -hmm. and phone numbers one of my it. friends had one i ain't gonna say your name homie uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> But what you know, that, that was like something that we cherished because we could put a little note next to the person and yeah, right. whether it was a good or bad note, yep, we wanted yep. to remember. Yep. Um, and so this, so Love Notes for Life is my ode to that. It's 15 things to consider when, when entering love. Oh, okay. That's dope. Yeah. That's, that's pretty creative. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Y'all got to surround yourself with beauty and intelligence. You see me out here, man? Look, 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 look. You, see, you see me out here, yo? <laughs> this is what you got to do, man. Surround yourself with this. So, um... How's the drink? How's the, the drink, drink is, is phenomenal. As, as, it's really good. As, you know, as oh always, as always, yeah, it, come on, this is, this is what I do gonna, though. I'm probably going to have another one of these. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll whip it up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get my big bartender on, uh, what do you call it, the jolly bartender, mm. that's what I am, so. It's nice and smooth. Got the real frothies, frothiness from the, from the egg white. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, and it's not like your typical whiskey sour at all. Yeah. It's really good. It's, yeah, I it's appreciate smooth. That. It um you know, I can definitely sit on the deck and have one of these. Yeah, and, and you can do this. The good thing about whiskey sour is you can have it in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Cuz whiskey is kind of, you know, people don't you know, sometimes they don't want to do whiskey when it's kind of hot out and stuff like that. Right. But this is a refreshing <laughs> it's cocktail. It's very it's nice and chilled. It's nice and refreshing. I really enjoy, I'm I'm enjoying it. I had those glasses Tremendous sitting place. in the freezer for all that time y'all trying to find my place. I'm just saying, the glasses are nice and chill. Why are you to me out? <laughs> it's all good, man. I live in the sticks. You know, typically, I don't feel like I am directionally challenged. I'm not saying you are. But. <laughs> I literally watch y'all like, you just drove by my spot. I know. I know you did. And then I'm thinking, I don't see a pond. What are you talking about? There's a pond. There's, there's a pond. There's a pond. My spot, it's small. It's like. I'm trying to get to the city. It's a tiny pond, but it's a pond. <laughs> it's pondish. <laughs> So we're going to take some whiskey though. Okay. We are going to take some whiskey. Okay. You down for that? I'm definitely down for that. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. <sighs> All right, y'all. We back. We back. So um, what we're going to do now is taste I'll do a tasting of a Midwinter Nights Dram. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> a offering from High West Distillery. Uh, and I know a lot of y'all out there probably going crazy right now because people speak very highly of this whiskey. Mm, okay. Um, but I haven't had it yet, so we're going to do this. We're going to taste it together. We're going to taste it together for the first time. So let me just read off what they say about it um, on their website. So uh, let me see. I'm going to. The limited release whiskey is a sumptuous marriage of our rendezvous rye finished in both port and French oak barrels. The rye forms a beautiful base of vanilla, caramel, and cinnamon. Ooh. The port barrels enhance with plums and dried fruits. The French oak provides a spice accent. For us, a midwinter night's dram tastes like a proper Christmas plum pudding with lovely mulling spices, dried fruits, and creme, is it anglaise? Whatever, yeah, there you go. Um, so, let's see what Christmas we get. In July. Yeah, let's just, mm. let's get some Christmas uh, in July popping off here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get you a little bit uh, tipsy here. This is, this whiskey kicks. We're not playing around out here, yo, I'm telling you. <laughs> you don't see me measuring my pores. You're not measuring. I ain't myself. measuring no pour. <laughs> I trust that you know what you're doing. Yeah. And man. You know whiskey is. I love whiskey. It's, so, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You should. Everyone should love whiskey. This is true. If you don't love whiskey, you just don't realize you love it, but you just don't realize. They don't it know yet. it yet. You don't know it yet. <laughs> so um, let's see if we get any uh, vanilla and uh, blah blah and this okay. that and the third. See, I'm not. My palate Nella is and not cinnamon that. And some yeah, stuff. there you go. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> My palate is not that uh, refined. So what we're gonna do? Okay. Is you wanna 
you know, you want to smell it. You want to have the little, the rim, from what I've learned, mm -hmm. the rim sitting mid-lip, mid-lip, you know. Mm. And breathe in, maybe with your mouth open. And get all that because mm. a lot of the experience of tasting whiskey is the smell. Okay. All right, so that's the smell. The smells are going to allow you to taste the thing that you should be tasting. Very nice. Whiskey. You ready? I think so. All right, let's toast that again. Here we go. Oh, woo, man, mm. that is doing a lot of stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> that is doing. Ooh, that's um, nice. That's doing a lot. That's doing a lot. But mm. Really good. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Something sneak up on you a yes. little bit. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh man. Mm. That is amazing. Mm. Wow. That's something else, right? It's a blended <laughs> blended whiskey. Okay. Yeah, so you're getting a bunch of different things, different barrels. It's hitting me. Yeah. Like all from different yeah, <laughs> right. but it's nice. That is beautiful. You're taking bigger sips than I am. Am I? <laughs> I think so. This is what I do. <laughs> I'm easing into it. You, be, you <laughs> you're probably doing the right way. Here I am. At least I didn't mm. shoot it, right? No, just, thank you. <laughs> oh, no. You also got to watch us drink this. I'm telling mm, you. It's so good. Mm. That okay. is amazing. I like that a lot. Oh, wow. Hi, Wes. Y'all mm -hmm. killed it with this. And it's, my... it's, it tingles in the right places at mm -hmm. the right time. Yeah. Very good. Then it kind of chills out. And then yep. when you think you're about to go do something pow. else, you about to go wash the dishes or something. <laughs> Boom! Oh, whoa, right, wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. It pows. <laughs> it pows you. <laughs> we, I, we just made up a phrase. You, just get, you got piled. You got piled. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> and we both pick back up. <laughs> you gonna pick that shit back up and get piled again. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. This is Devin Bang. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we don't want to get don't banged. We just want to get piled. Relax, everybody. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 That is beautiful. Ooh. If you're out there, Ooh. if you're at Barrow, you at Jack Rose. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you at Bourbon. Uh, That's good Bourbon stuff. Steakhouse, DC. Ask for it. They might have it. Yeah. It's a, it might be a pretty penny, but it's worth it. It's worth every bit of it. That it's is very beautiful. good. Mm -hmm. mm. You're finishing yours. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> I don't, it's one thing I don't do is waste whiskey. <laughs> Believe that. I won't that. waste. I promise. Yeah, you're not gonna waste that whiskey. Mm -mm. I it's can tell so by the way you're looking at it. Uh -oh. Looking at the glass, like. <laughs> a personal relationship. We have definitely formed a personal <laughs> For sure. In a very short amount of time. I'm getting powed right now. You're getting powed right now. <laughs> I'm getting powed too. So look man, tell the people where to um where to find you and everything too. On social media. So everything on social media is easy. Um easy breezy is K S Lewis Media. Mm -hmm. So Facebook Instagram, even Twitter. I'm not as big on Twitter. Like me, I don't, I don't interact as much on Twitter. But everything is KS Lewis Media. KS Lewis Media, yep. man. Please look her up. Support, support, support. And of course, you know, Whiskey and Kicks. Check me out too. Whiskey and Kicks underscore IG on Instagram. Um, people don't like websites anymore. I know. They're gonna be, <laughs> they're gonna be gone pretty soon. Yeah, I built my WhiskeyandKicks.com. <laughs> like, I got my Google Analytics, and I had like 68 hits in one month. But you know, you have like, to find a way to drive them there. They have to drive so. into my content mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I know you have some cool stuff on there. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, all my content is on there. Oh, I have yeah. it all embedded. So, but people don't like going to website. They want to be able to click content. Boom. They, they don't want it right away. Go to another page. They That's don't want to do that. So just holler at me, Whiskey and Kicks. Um, underscore IG and Instagram and just whiskey and kicks everywhere. So mm -hmm. KS Lewis Media and <laughs> you know sit more this uh, this dram and um, mm. we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Hey, this is good stuff. This is great stuff. I gotta watch Man. my back. Let me put this a little bit closer. You better watch your back. You know, That's right. Try to take myself. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be good. <laughs>